Good day everyone. In this video, you will learn how to create customized charts with UI Builder and Chart.js. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We will update the content of component chart.view to display the chart. I am expecting you have prior knowledge to my SQL server so I will just show you the table and the data from the table. In this scenario, I will create the chart of my monthly electric, water and internet expense from year 2019. I created an HTTP endpoint in Node-RED named, Tuts Report. This retrieves all the data from the table shown earlier. We can test this endpoint by entering the URL in the web browser. This works since our endpoint is a GET and don't require tokens. Now, let's start modifying the chart.view. I will open the source code of our previous project in VS Code. I will also open my pre-created code in Sublime Text. We will copy some of the code there to make this tutorial faster and shorter. Be sure to add the package chart.js version 3.7.1. I used this version since I am more familiar to the API of this version. Don't forget to add link to chart.js. Now let's test if we successfully linked chart.js in our index.html. It appears the file chart.js was successfully linked. Now, let's modify our chart.view to add the charts. I will remove the Jumbotron and replace it with Canvas which we will use to render our chart. I added the top margin of our Canvas. We will have two columns with left larger than the right. The left column will hold our mixed chart while the left will hold our pie chart. Note! Our canvases have view directive ref. We will use this as reference to our canvas when we render the chart. I will add the data, items list. This will hold the data retrieved from database. I just remove the object bills since I have no use of it. Now, let's create the method to retrieve data.
I removed the return keyword since we will set this method not to return a value. Our Axios post will use the URL. Tuts report we tested earlier. In here, I will not explain the computations involved since this part is very dependent on data and scenario why you are creating a chart. I will just add the necessary code comments for the purpose of the line. As a whole, they will be used to create the dataset which will use to create the charts. You can read the documentations in chartjs.org. I will provide in the description the link. Again these lines of code are for creating our dataset which we will used in generating the chart. This is just JavaScript thingy. If you are familiar with JavaScript, you can fast forward the video to 8 minutes mark when I add the function to render the charts. Here, let us create the method to render the chart. So, our method will accept a parameter. This parameter holds the data we formatted earlier in the method getItems. Here, it's JavaScript thingy. You can access the keys of your JSON object using object.keys. This part will render the mixed chart. Our mixed chart will have the bar chart for the expense and line chart for total monthly expense so we can see the trend. These are the datasets. Again, I will not explain why the code appears this way. This is dependent on documentation and may vary to versions of chart.js. In this part we will render the pie chart. We will display here how many percent of the year 2019 we pay for electric, water and internet. Here, I used the API for label. This is the callback function to return the label which is displayed when we hover the section of pie chart. Let us try to refresh the page and see if the changes works. 
looks like we have a problem. So the problem was we didn't call the method get items during mounting of the component. Let's try again and refresh the page. Now, the chart is displayed. One tip to easily understand callback functions is to print in console the parameters. This helps you understand how to access value without reading the documentation. Hope these tutorial series has been helpful to you. Thank you for watching and happy coding. See you on the next tutorial.